According to the latest USDA state report, calving across Nebraska is 49% complete, with 76% of cattle and calves rated good to excellent. Rick Rasby talked with us earlier this week about estrus synchronization, which is managing the beef estrus cycle so cows can be bred around the same time. We started by asking what's the most important thing to remember when calving wraps up. Planning. You got to be planned on this deal and, uh, and planned well in advance. And so, just like you indicated, we're just now in the midst of calving. Uh, some are getting done with calving, but yet now we're thinking about that next calf crop. And so, when, when you think about that, you think about estrus synchronization, uh, you think about being able to use AI in that situation, but planning is going to be key. You said uh, before we started, this is not a substitute for good management. That's exactly, what do you mean by that? That's exactly right. You know, you got to, for, for ester synchronization protocols to work, you got to have uh, managed those cows properly from a nutrition standpoint. Uh, you need to have, uh, have those cows in good condition. You need to have some activity on the ovary. So depending on what ester synchronization protocol you use, uh, it, it has something to work with uh, in, in, uh, in that, in that uh, perspective. But it's not a substitute for, uh, for poor management. Cows need to be in good condition. You need to have activity on the ovary. Why is AIing more of an advantage maybe in this situation? Well, you, you basically, from an ester synchronization uh, standpoint, is that you have, you basically take control of the ester cycle. And so uh, from that vantage point, then AI works into that system very nicely. What are the things that uh, maybe haven't worked in the past that haven't been able to, to keep that cow bred? Well, you know, you think about it, you, you think how, about how important body condition is in regards to reproduction. And so, um, you know, if, if you don't have cows in good condition, if you don't have activity on the ovary, then you're not going to have a very successful uh, estrus synchronization program or protocol, and that's just going to lead to a uh, uh, to low pregnancies and low, op uh, low opportunities to get cows pregnant with AI. Difference between cows and heifers, if you're talking about this? Yeah, you know, you think about uh, uh, you think about uh, about heifers. Um, uh, there are going to be certain ester synchronization protocols that you're going to work uh, uh, with them, and then we think about cows. There's probably some that are approved, and we'll work a lot better with uh, with the cow side of things. One thing from the cow side of things, uh, you know, uh, you need to be uh, so many days postpartum before cows are really ready to rebreed. And so uh, as you think about ester synchronization, you think about postpartum interval, those cows probably got to be somewhere between 50 to 55 days postpartum before um, they'll really respond very well to ester synchronization protocols. You and the rest of the beef team have some tools online at the beef website. Uh, what, what do those tools allow producers to do? Well, um, if you go to our beef website, beef.unl.edu, on the right-hand side, there's a uh, beef cattle reproduction. If you click on that, it'll take you to the Applied Reproductive Strategies website. Uh, on that website, you just click on Resources, and there's a, in that resource page, there's an estrus synchronization planner and you can download that uh, ester synchronization planner. It's an Excel spreadsheet. It has all the ester synchronization protocols for both cows and heifers, uh, and uh, you click on the, uh, on, the, on the protocol, it'll print you out a calendar. So really a nice resource for those producers thinking about using synchronization. What am I paying for that, Rick? Nothing. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's the nice <laughs> thing about it is that they've worked out, uh, the, the, uh, that task force has worked with uh, Iowa State, and uh, they have it up there for free. And again, the website for obtaining the planning worksheet can be found through beef.unl.edu.